everyone. My name is Jessica Wang. I am a second year biomedical science PhD student in the lab of James Gardner at UCSF. For my graduate thesis project, I am investigating the function of autoimmune regulator outside of the thymus and its role in maintaining immune homeostasis. I have always been fascinated by the double-edged sword of our immune response. Our adaptive immune system can maintain precise host defense against many different pathogens, but it achieves diversity and adaptability at the risk of autoimmunity. And so our immune response must be precisely regulated to distinguish self from non-self. In vertebrates, one essential place this is achieved is the thymus, where self-reactive T cells are eliminated or repurposed by specialized educator cells called medullary thymic epithelial cells, or MTEX. To properly educate the pool of developing T cells with the body's diverse proteome, MTEX require autoimmune regulator, also abbreviated as AIR, which is a protein that facilitates expression of a wide range of otherwise tissue-specific antigens, here abbreviated as TSAs. While thymic self-education is crucial, central tolerance is also complemented with other tolerance mechanisms in the periphery. Interestingly, we have found air-expressing cells outside of the thymus, abbreviated as ETACs or extrathymic air-expressing cells, which are found in the secondary lymphoid organs, such as the lymph nodes and the spleen. These cells are a specialized subset of antigen-presenting cells and have been shown to also express tissue-specific antigens. Our data also demonstrate that they are transcriptionally similar to both MTEX and migratory dendritic cells in the periphery. Using single cell RNA sequencing, we have found that air in these cells can promote a tolerogenic signature while suppressing inflammatory genes. Additionally, self antigen expression in ETAX is sufficient to prevent autoimmunity by deleting autoreactive T cells and inducing regulatory T cells. While we and others have shown that ETAX are capable of inducing T cell tolerance, the function of air in these populations and the contribution of such extrathymic air to normal immune homeostasis still remains unclear. This is largely due to the lack of tools we have available for studying these cells specifically outside of the thymus. To address this problem, we're currently generating various conditional knockout mice where they only lack air in the periphery but have normal air function in the thymus. Using these mouse models, we will precisely define the transcriptional and functional roles of air in ETAX and its contribution to peripheral immune tolerance. Overall, I think this research is not only crucial for understanding the biology of this extremely complex transcriptional regulator, but could also be significant for uncovering the mechanisms and improving treatments for many clinical implications, such as autoimmunity, cancer, and maternal fetal tolerance.